going to mix, uh, as I said, three passes going around, uh, underneath, and, and through the legs. So our first one, we're nice and low. We're going to reach for the hip. Hand on the side of the rib, like this, with our forearm blocking the knee from coming in front. Okay, so I drop my, my elbow when I do this. I don't leave it like this. I drop my elbow a bit. My other hand goes on the knee. I'm going to walk to the side, like this. Elbow's still blocking that leg, so I flare it a little bit. And then what I want to do is take this knee away from Koi's chest, so I can pass into this space. Okay. Again, he's going to always he's going to be blocking with his hands. Okay. So trying to pass just straight through here will be difficult. I'm going to push this leg open, and I'm going to walk back into the legs until I turn his hips away, and I want to be in line with Koi. Yeah, like this. Once I'm there, even if he's pushing. Like this, I can usually like get a, a good grip around the body, use my head, and end up in side control. Yeah. There's a few different ways you can react to there, but uh, this is a much better position for us to, to complete our finish. So hand on the knee and the and the side of the rib, that forearm blocking the leg. Walk to the side, push the leg out of the way, and then we consolidate around to the side. Okay. Now we have to have good. Uh, timing though to, to mix up our different types of passes so as well as training our technique and the execution of the technique I also want to train the timing so our first reaction that's going to occur that we have to deal with as I go to do this Koi manages to get his left top knee in front of my shoulder it just because yes like this okay so I kind of lost ideally I was blocking that but he's managed to, to bring that in so now it's actually quite hard for me to as I walk back to actually get in and finish this around the legs pass. So again, I go for that and Koi gets this knee in front of my shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to go under that leg now. I'm going to reach my hand under on top of the thigh and I'm going to lift the leg on my shoulder. I can't lift it here, I have to walk back to get my shoulder on me. So I walk back to kind of to where I started but I'm now underneath the leg. So again, we go to here, Koi gets the leg in front, I reach under, walk back, I get a leg on the shoulder, and I'm going to reach my right hand to the far, like right across his stomach, like I'm gripping his far hip. If I can see that. Okay, I want to get this grip. See, leg on the shoulder, guys. If you're here, this will not work. Okay, he's going to push me away with that leg. I lose all my distance. I have to be like underneath the line of his knee. So again, that's why I've got to pull that leg on my shoulder. So again, we'll go for our toriander. If he doesn't block. Walk to the legs. If his leg does go on top, we're going to come under, grip on top of the thigh, walk back, and we're now leg on top of the shoulder, reaching the far hip. We're going to come underneath the hips, just gently, just gently lift the hips, guys. In reality, what I would do is put his knee to his chin, like stack him, but just because we're drilling, we don't want to. Yeah cause any injuries to our training partner. So we're just gonna like, just gently lift the hips, walk to the side, and don't. Okay, here's some key things that people will do wrong. Don't try to take your head out like this. Give way too much space for Koi to like push my head and make this. Okay, I don't wanna do that. And I don't wanna like try to throw his leg away either. Like, so now I don't control it. Even though I go rid of the leg, I don't need to control the Koi. What I wanna do, from there, you get my chest attached to, to Koi's ribs, like this, so a nice sprawl and heavy. And I kind of let the leg, as I like posture, the leg sort of starts to slip. You know, I try not to move much, and now I try to recover Koi. It should be really in a bad spot, and I got my weight on it through my chest here. So that's the connection I'm trying to make chest to his ribs. So, again, I have two reactions. I go to the side, and I can. Walk back, Toriander. If he gets his knee on top to block, I'm gonna come underneath, leg on the shoulder, lift the hips just a little bit. He said in reality it would be more, but just a little bit there. Chest attached to the ribs, let the leg slide out. I'm gonna stabilize now in side control. For the new guys, this is much better now that I'm in side control. I'm past his leg, I can actually do some missions. It's really hard for me to get in to work while his legs are in front of me, and obviously uh, he can do some things with his legs there too. Alright, 
Let's try that. Three, two, one. Do this. We're gonna come back and go through the legs as well. Okay, so we're gonna have two timing points that I want you to be thinking about as, as you go for this. So again, we're here, we get our grips. I go for the Toriando. Koi gets the knee in front. Okay, if he gets that, I'm gonna come underneath the leg like this, and I'm gonna make sure I get the leg on the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, remind me to talk about the triangle here, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, as we go to get along, around, uh, actually, let me show you. I'll show you how people will block that. Okay, so Koi gets under, yeah, he goes around, I get my knee in front, he comes under. The way I will block him coming around, I'm gonna put my foot on the mat, I'm gonna like swing my hips back to try it off balance. So Koi goes to get around, and I kinda like keep swinging to kick him back here. Okay. So again, try to pass around Koi. Do it. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Every time he does that, I push it off the ground, and it can often off balance him, and, and he actually has to let go to so let me get my legs back. So, um, uh, what what Koi is going to take advantage of on top is the fact that I have to put my foot on the ground to get that momentum. So if he does that again. I have to put my foot on the ground. Come around. To push. Again, so to open up some space there, and that's our cue to go back through the legs. Come around, he gets the knee in front, come under this, and I see that he's pushing there, okay? So immediately, when I see that leg's going on the ground, my left knee's gonna go over the top, like this, cut the head, and then there's a few different ways to, to finish this. Um, put your foot like underneath the, the calf, knee over the top of the thigh, grab the head, Switch your hips, and we can finish like that. That's one way to do it. Uh, probably the easiest way to, to show. So again, I get there, grab the head, switch my hips, so I step out, still got this, control, and I block his hips, and remove my leg. So I've now got our, three, our two timing points, if I can. Koi, if he doesn't give me the knee in front, I want you to do the Torian. If he does put the knee in front, I want you to come under, come to here, do the step pass. Okay, so we're under the legs. Here we go for that, and he manages to put the foot on the ground. I'm coming over the top with my knee, grabbing my head, switching my base. Nice. Right. Go at a pace that works for you. Obviously, you need to have a pace enough that you can actually comprehend uh, when they're starting to block and how you react to that. Right. Three, two, one. Do I get to here? My left leg over the top. My cross face. Switch my hips. And still keeping that left leg there so that he can't. If I do, if I take this one out now, he locks my leg up in half guard, and I have to pass through the half guard. And I want to keep control of that. Switch. Lock the hip now. And sorry, I, just, I block the hip, then I take my leg out at the end here, like this. Um, all right, I did say I was gonna talk about the triangle, but then I didn't talk about the triangle, so I better just talk about the triangle. We're here like this, uh, Koi puts his leg under. Now, I do have to watch the triangle when I go here, okay? So, if I start to walk around and Koi pulls my hand through, I can get triangle. Okay, so usually, what I'll do, if I can, I'll block, I'll change my hand, so my fingers are behind here. It's really hard for Koi to pull that arm through. My fingers can pull Koi. If it's like that, it's just my thumb, you can often slip that through. So I tend to like block it like this, if I can. Now, especially as I see they go into that. Um, all right. uh, that's, that's basically all I do, but I do like to pin that leg because it gives me more options. Um, and until I get a chance to go under the Music. All right, now let's just work all three together. But this time, uh, imagine each one gets blocked. So don't actually finish any particular pass. I want you to like practice the transitions between the three of them, because this is where you start to become much more dangerous. So I'm going for the Toriando. I'm going to come under the leg. Oh, he's going to block everything that I do. Okay. He might block here, come for this. He might block my shoulders here. Come back to this, he blocks that, back in. You can go back to the Toriando by swinging your hand back in front of the hip. And back out, and going back to the Toriando. Now, I'll stop here, 
Is it done? Fully finished. Even if you just get to the just stop, let him the chance to recover. Back underneath. Back through. Turning into them. Uh, ideally you're working off their reactions, but if you want, you can just practice the movement between the tree in and of itself. Okay? Three, two, one.